In today's video, we're taking a look at how to clean your oven hood filter easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do everything that we use on the video. We're going to leave a link on the description. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video that does help us out a lot. So you woke up today and noticed that your oven hood is not filtering like before or every time you look under it, it seems like some grease is going to fall onto your food. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and remove the oven hood filter. And you're going to notice a little tab, in this case white, that may or may not have a screw. In this particular model, there is a screw. It's a Phillips screw and we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove it. And remember, we're using the technique passed down by generations and generations of lefty loosey righty tighty. Once we remove the screw, we should be able to turn the tab and therefore creating space to be able to remove the filter. Now that you finally remove the filter, you can tell your family member, friend, loved one that you're done for the day. We'll finish this project tomorrow. Now that you've been forced back to labor, we're ready to clean this greasy, gunky mess. And what we wanna do first is get a container or a pan or any object where we can place the filter and fill it with water. You do have the option of using your sink, but a pro tip, cleaning that afterwards and having grease and gunk go through your sink is not good. Before we have our ingredients ready, we're gonna be boiling enough water to cover the filter. Depending on how big your filter is, we're gonna use a quarter of a cup to half a cup of baking soda, which is about 57.5 to 115 grams. And basically what we're gonna add next is some type of degreaser. That could be liquid dish soap, liquid detergent, or even the powdered form. And we're basically gonna use the same amount that we use of baking soda. One quarter of a cup to half a cup, which is about 56 grams or 112 grams. So if you have a small or regular size filter, you use one quarter of a cup. If you have a large to big filter, then you use half a cup. Now using safety, we're gonna bring one cup of the hot water and we're gonna mix it in with our ingredients. Now that we have a uniform mix, we're gonna go ahead and place our filter and to complete the filter's bath, we're gonna pour the rest of the water. And basically what we wanna do is cover the entire filter. Even though you notice that the filter is having a great time, you might notice that it's trying to escape. But as any good movie, the idea of waterboarding is to keep your subject underwater. And for this one, what we're gonna do is use this cup. And you can tell right away that the water is changing color. That's a great sign. And now comes the hardest part of the video. We're gonna wait until the mixture cools down. That can take from half an hour to an hour. And you can tell that our guest is giving out information left to right. All this floating grease and gunk is what we wanna see. In non-severe cases, this should be enough. But let's say your filter's been there for a long time, AKA when you bought the oven hood filter, the second plan of attack where we could hit it with the one-two punch is using a brush. For no reason in the world, we're gonna use our loved one, friend, or family members toothbrush, wink, wink. You're gonna notice that grease melt away. If after scrubbing, you notice that you still have some grease or gunk stuck to the filter, you can always repeat this process for a second time. In our case, because we don't want that grease or gunk going on the sink, we're gonna place this on an empty bottle. But remember, you are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. Whatever you say goes. Just don't say it that loud. If you don't wanna get overthrown by your loved one or family or friend, and for our final step, what we're gonna do is rinse that filter with some hot, warm water to remove any residue or solution from it. If yours has a carbon mesh lining on the inside of the grates, like ours does, then you wanna go ahead and place this to dry. You can place it outside on the sun or just stand it up anywhere with some paper towels at the bottom until it's 
good to go. Now that our filter is clean and dry, we're ready to reverse engineer our way to freedom. You have finally slayed the dragon, you knocked one out the to-do list, you showed the world that you can do it, and that here at the Statabox team, we think you're awesome. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's the link to our latest video.